Hi, everybody. How are you tonight? So we have about a 15 second delay again. It seems far for the course. I'll show you something I was working on today. So this is a um, alpaca piece from Mexico. It was a pen pendant. And I strung it on here. Put on. It'll have a and it has, it's um, 18 inches, right? Yeah, 18 inches with a two inch extender. So that's gonna go up for sale. My dogs. Okay, can you hear me now? Hi. Can you hear me? No love. Okay, you can hear me? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. We are, I was checking to make sure my volume was correct. I had to wait for my husband to find me on YouTube. So, tonight we're going to make some beaded bracelets. Your kit will come like this in a baggie. It'll tell you what the stone is. If I know what it does, I'll put it down there for you. So it'll look like that. And then it will have um, bead -a lawn or tiger's tail in it, depending on what you want to call it. It will have um, two crimp crimpers for you right there. It will have large and small jump rings.
things and two um there's an extra crimper two straight pins so you can um make danglies if you want and then it will also have a lobster claw and a little tag to slip it on i'd already started this one so this is what it will look like when you start and I will show you all of that and explain it and then you'll get directions also and the video will be up for you to view whenever and I'll have different stones I have amethyst right here that was the one um oh actually I'm gonna probably do these this is rose quartz the amethysts are six millimeters uh four millimeter stones these are 10 millimeter stones I have Dalmatian and Jasper, which is black and white, kind of gray. They're pretty. Um, these are picture Jasper, and these are four millimeter stones, little ones. So they'll become, they'll be, this is adventuring. They'll be from four to 10 millimeter stones, adventuring. I will um, put a list in the description of the different um, stones available and the sizes for you. They're $10 a kit and it will have everything you need except for a crimp tool and a pair of um, needle nose pliers if you put the dangle on and um, a little nipper to cut the wire. Otherwise you will have everything you need in the kit. So let's get started. So, um, what I do with my crimpers? I don't know where they are. I'll find them for us though. So tonight, the one I'm going to use are these hematite stars that I got. So they're not coming off the there there and i have a kit that has these in them too so they look like they're metal they're actually a stone so they're they're hematite but then they've been electroplated i think is how how they do it the gas they electroplated on these are eight millimeter so to start what you do just a second. While you're looking at all the beauty, I'm going to grab my crimpers. Sorry, I was organizing things, and I put my crimpers in here. So those are my crimpers. I think that's the only set I have right around here. So what you do is you take your little crimp bead, and these are little tube beads or round beads. It just depends. These are round. And you put your string through it like that. Hold it with your finger, and then we'll get to do it on here. Where is my? I must have thrown my piece out. Oh well. Okay, so you're gonna get one of these, and it's like a tag. You thread it on the little hole right there. Then you're going to take, put it through your crimp bead so you have a nice loop. You don't want your string to twist. See how it doesn't twist there? So you pull it up. Now leave yourself a little bit of room. And people always ask how to know how much room. 
So uh, if you have needle nose or round nose pliers, so here's your round nose pliers because they're round, they come down. Put that at the top like that and you hold this. Then scoot your crimper up to the top as far as it goes. And that's how much space I usually leave. There are other ways to tell and you can gauge it. I just don't like too big a um, loop because I don't, it looks gangly or something. I don't know. Um, and you don't want too small. You want some movement available. So then you take your crimpers and you put it to the back and you crimp down. And what that does is create it creates like a U, like this shape. And then we're going to turn it on its side and we're going to go to the front one and we're going to mush that together. And this is the important step of it all is doing that. You don't have to do it real hard. You just want to get them. So see how I took it from this to this. That's what holds it. If you just leave it like this, the string, the wire will pull out and that's not what anybody wants. So that's done. So now we have an end and we are going to, because it's mine, well, I wanted, oh, there we go. These are red, thank you, Lord Elrod, hi. Hey, E, thanks for coming. So I am going to use these red. These are just check fire glass beads. So I'm going to string on my hematite star, which they learn to like make different colors of hematite. So it's cool. Now using the star, when you put it on, see it hides the, the little bead. So I like that. Now let me see if... <laughs> I like the red beads in between it, or if we're just going to do all stars, because oh, Alexa just went off. I don't know why she thought she needed to talk to me, and she's in my other room. So let's see. There we go. Oh, I might be okay with that. <laughs> it is just for the video. I don't have to keep it. Okay, and then I'm going to do my star. Since these are directional beads, or what I call directional, so they have, you know, a left and a right or an up and down, I'm going to bead it ugh, just like that. So it's going to look like that. And then, okay, and see how I covered my tail all the way through? So I don't have to cut that off, and there is no risk of it pulling out. And then I'm going to just put some stars on here. And I don't have my glasses on because my dog knocked them on the ground and scratched them when he was trying to get something off my dresser. And I ordered a new pair and they're not here yet. And I can't see through the others. Oh, there. So see how the star's going like that? I think I'm going to do three stars. stars and then I'm going to do a red bead so in yours what I will send unless you want the specific one that I'm making all the others will be single beads um, so they'll all be amethyst or they'll all be whatever bead you decide to choose there we go and um, you can make your, obviously, make your um, bracelet as long as you want. So there we go. Oh, and that'll be good flexibility, too. So when you're stringing, some of the things you want to watch for is how your beads hit, connect together. And so we have kind of taken care of that with just giving you round beads so they will fit nicely together. That won't be a um, 
issue for you, which is nice. When you are using the round beads, you do want to make sure that you don't have it so tight that it like doesn't move. You want it to be flexible. So that happens when you're um, putting your final crimp on. And then um, other than that, these are easy. And sorry, you just heard my herd come down the stairs. And you're going to be able to have the option of doing it with the crimp if you already have. I know a lot of you have that, um, these supplies. So you, I made it that way. But I'm also, as soon as I finish this one, I'm going to show you must he drink when I'm doing a video. Um, I'm going to show you the elect elastic ones too. So you can order an elastic one or you can order a wire one. And bear, stop. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> so, oh, I kind of am liking how this turned out. So I don't know if you saw the previous video. I was making um, Halloween things next week when I come on on Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm going, I will do um, Halloween um, bracelets on Monday and then probably on Tuesday since that seems to be the holiday um, thing I'm doing. And oh, look at that. And then on Wednesday, I will probably do another earring. Um, if you learn to do bracelets, then you can do, obviously you can do necklaces because they're just longer versions of a bracelet. So. Um, that's why I haven't done that. In October, I am actually thinking of doing some chain work with you guys. Um, and then you can, oops, oh, I flipped that in to my table. My table has tile on it and it just ate my star. The grout line, it's down too low to get, so I'll have to pull it out. Oh, no, this one won't go in. So sometimes you'll have a bead where the hole just isn't right and don't, don't fret over it. You should have enough beads in this kit because I, I give you extras because I give it so you can make an up to an eight inch bracelet because that's, I wear a larger bracelet. I always have skinny or not. I always have had larger, needed a larger bracelet. And so when I make kits for people, I make sure that they're, um, you know, able to do that. And um, you could just, so just put that bead aside. And if you have a bead reamer at home, then you can um, ream it out. It's kind of like um, sanding the hole bigger. So this is six and a half. Is that right? Did I? Yeah, six and a half. So we're at six and a half. So you, it does take quite a few beads to, to make it. People always wonder why bracelets are expensive because it does take a few beads to make them, even though you wouldn't think so. And usually um, it may not take quite the same amount of beads to make a bracelet that it does in earrings, but earrings and bracelets tend to run about the same price because you have to match them. So those are always questions people ask me. We only use like eight beads and then, yeah, but I have to find matching ones. And if you're using stone, that's harder to do. So, and it's harder to make matching when you're um, doing sets. Oh, weird, okay. So this is gonna be a little longer. I'm gonna make it for me. And I hit eight with this bead right here. Now my problem is, look how I, I started like that. Started with one star and a bead and then went to my pattern. And I'm just not gonna have the correct pattern. So what I'm gonna do actually is put um, the bead and then the star. So the pattern won't be exact, but wearing it, you're not going to notice um, notice it. So on this end, so now we're done. It's all laid out for you. 
that's cool. Turned out good. So I'm going to get my um, lobster claw clasp and a hi Judy. I'm going to get a lobster claw clasp and a jump ring and I'm going to use that. So there's my lobster there's my jump ring, there's my lobster claw clasp. So what I'm gonna do is find one of my tiny little crimp beads again. And I'm going to feed my wire through and hopefully, okay, and there it is. So then I'm gonna feed, oh, oh, my, my jump ring's open. So I'm going to put it through and look at that, I made it through two beads. If your beads aren't big enough, going through one, or if you can only go through your crimp tooth, that's good. I should have put that on that way though. Okay, so, I hold it down here. Is that the right side? Nope. I'm gonna hold this one and pull. There, see? And there's my right size. And then, so I have it on here. I'm going to hold this and I'm just going to make sure it's okay. Yeah, there's enough flexibility because you don't want it like really stiff. That's silly. So then again, we're going to use the crimpers. They have a top and a bottom hole. You can see in the hole that the one has a bump in the middle of it. Focus. And so I'm going to use the back hole, which is where the bump is make sure my wires aren't crossed and there's that so it's made the bead with the dip in it then I'm gonna turn it to the side go to the top one. Oh, and sometimes it spins on you just be patient you can do it okay there so you have that now I have an extra tail here make sure you're holding the tail because that's what you want to clip. Otherwise, you're going to have to totally restring your um, bracelet. And I have done that before, too. That's trash. So now we have a loop. I'm going to connect my... I usually connect them to start with. I don't know why I didn't. That way, I don't lose it. I might have my... Needle nose pliers. So I'm going to grab them like that. I'm going to put my jump ring through there. I have my other set of needle nose pliers. You don't need two sets to do this. You can use your fingers or you can use your um, other pliers. And now you can see it's closed. There's no, there's no room for my wire to slip out. A hint that I learned a long time ago is if you take an emery board and um, file a little bit on all the three sides you have available. Ooh, bad girl. Um, that will help it just stay and you won't see where it's at. Okay, I forgot to add my jump ring onto it. I didn't put my um, lobster claw onto my jump ring. Where is my, where, where? There it is. So when you do it, you want to do it back and forth. You don't want to like pull your ring out of, you just want to slide it back and forth. Okay. Here's my lobster claw. And I'm going to get you in there. I didn't get it open enough. That's my other dog drinking. Apparently they think they need to drink while I'm on TV, on YouTube. Okay, so there I have enough room, I think. Yep, now that's on. So I will use this, move those up. I will connect that. Oh, I got a little gap there. Sometimes if you press it down just a little, there my gap's gone. And there we have it, beautiful bracelet that easy for you guys so even on tv where i'm explaining it it took less than a half hour to show you guys so you can do that and i have 
I told you your kit comes with some eye pins. So you can put on a star or a bead or whatever you have. I don't want one of those. And then this goes, this is the standard loop that we all have to learn to make when we're doing, um, when you're doing jewelry. So hold it low, bend it away from you. Move, take your pliers out, move them up and down. You're going to take the wire over and bend it towards you. Oops, my beads. Bend it towards you and all the way around till it's all the way down. Then you're going to take your pliers out. And I put them in so they're facing me. So we've gone from facing away to facing up. So that's like sunrise, noon, sunset. That's how I um, taught people to remember it. Then I put my tail over there. Then you take your pliers like this and you go around and around with your tail. Now, these are um, an alloy. They're not sterling. This is not a sterling set. It is just a normal base metal set. Um, so they're a little um, stronger. So you may need a set of pliers to help turn it around for you. And that's fine. And it doesn't have to be a perfect, like it's a mess right now. That's fine. We're going to take our snippers, the ones that have flat on one side. We're going to use that side towards the bead or towards the, the wrap. I had the extra piece. Go ahead and just throw those in the trash because you can't scrap that. It's not like sterling. And then I'm going to straighten my pin up like that. <sighs> okay. And come on. There we go. So now I have a little dangly. And you can put the dangly, actually you can make the dangly ahead of time and put it in here if you want. If you do that, you probably need to have two beads to drop off. I made it so I could put it in my jump ring. There it is. So I'm going to take my needle nose. I use this to help twist so I don't have to use another set of pliers. I put that there and I twist it back. Come on. There we go. And do any adjusting. This one's not quite perfect yet. So I'm going to put this on the bottom side of my pliers and that on the top. And I use this as a little bit of leverage. There. And there we have it. There's your first bracelet that you can make. Hi, Mary Lance. How are you? Thank you, Judith. So there you go. There's your first one. Now, I'm also going to show you how to, and I will send, um, in your kit, you will have this, and then you will have the elastic. So you can do it either way, or um, with your leftover beads, you can um, make two. You won't have enough for two. If you want enough beads for two, it would be, I didn't think of that. I'll do it. I'll, I'll change the kit price. It'll be $12 and you'll have enough beads to make two, one elastic and one um, regular. So I buy bulk plastic. It's from my bead store. So I've had it and um, I'm going to make it. It's a, the length you get will be approximately eight to nine inches long. So you won't need that much. So I'm going to show you, you don't need tools for this. So, oh, let me grab some round beads so I can show you. And here, these are pearls. I don't know. Let me see if my pearl holes are big enough for the elastic. Talk about making it hard on myself. No, they're going to be a pain. So I will dump out my adventuring. So there's the kit. Once again, you'll have your, your balls. You'll get your 
your beading wire for the bracelet with the lobster claw and you'll get your um, elastic. You'll get two jump rings or two, um, don't fall off please, two um, pins with balls on the end. And it looks like I included two or three of the um, crimp beads, two small and two large, plus your clasp. So you'll have enough. So when you put your first bead on, I'll just show you a secret that I like to do when I'm doing these. If you don't have a clamp or something, come on, there we go. If you don't have a clamp or something, take it and tie your bead so your bead is last bead is in the center. That's going to hold so you can put all your other beads on and you don't have to worry them just falling off. Now, you can use clamps. What did I do with them? You can use clamps under there. Clamps or um, Dollar Tree sells the pink clamps. You can use them. Or you can get these at the bead store, at the hobby store, hobby store. And they, what they do is you open them up like that and you put them on and then your beads stay. So if you're going to start beading a lot, these are worth it. So then we're just going to easily put on all of our, you know what? That might help a little with these. So you just have to find your hole and slide your elastic through. And I should not have dumped these out. So at Dollar Tree, you can get these a bag of 10 of these. And that's how I keep my beads, especially if I'm working with them. So then they're not rolling around like that. Um, that makes it a lot easier for you. You don't lose beads. And you keep them away from little fingers and mouths and puppy paws and kitty paws and all of that stuff. So. I'm glad you guys all came. I don't know if you heard, um, I don't know when you joined because I'm not too good at looking here and over at my computer yet. I will be doing these. I'm going to try and do at least two a week. And I kind of like Tuesday and Wednesday nights because I don't usually have my granddaughter then. And I have, um, I usually have time and I'm not interrupting. If I do it this late, I'm not pushing into anybody's um, auctions. I know um, Sue and Steven go, so I tried not to, I tried to go late enough that their auction was almost over. And then um, I know Barbie and Ken go on Tuesday nights, but they're usually done by 8.30 or 9. So I was trying to avoid everybody's um, auctions so you guys didn't have to. But of course, there'll always be, I'll have, while I do it live, they'll, I'll leave them up and I'll have kits available for the projects we make and they'll be listed in the description so that if you go over to your, um, if you go over um, to the bottom, there's a little arrow and you press it in YouTube and that will give you the, um, that will pull down a menu and it'll give you like descriptions and I will put any information um, in there about the kits. And then if you have any questions, you can always email me. And I put up my orders link. So I put up um, orders for D and D at gmail.com. So you can send it there. Or of course you can always get me at designs and do overs at .com. And um, a lot of you are friends on Facebook and stuff, just however, and just email me or text me or whatever your questions, and I'll try and get back to you as fast as I can.
No, you're not going outside, Remy. Okay, so I've put on these beads and we are at four inches. So we're getting close. Okay. These are six millimeter beads, which is, in my opinion, like the perfect size. They're, they're not big, they're not small. So they're a great starter. And these are kind of like the mala beads or what the prayer beads that people wear and that you buy. And so each, each will be, unless you buy the kit that has the stars in it. Well, actually those are hematite. So those are stone too, but they'll have the glass in with them. Okay. We're at five. So I need a few more. Um, but they'll all be that it will not be sterling kits. Um, if I had to do it in sterling, the price would go up to about 16 or $18 because clasp and such are expensive. Unfortunately, I shouldn't put them all in there. So, um, the earrings I did, if you go to get my channel and check out the earrings from last night's, um, bead sale and earrings, they, and it's at the very beginning, the make part. Um, they were all sterling and there are a few kits left from that and I'll try and update that page. But if I don't get it updated, if I run out, I will let you know. Okay. I think this will be the last one. Yep. Okay. And so there we go. Okay. There we go. So now you have all your beads strung. And there are extras and the extras um, that would be after I made the two bracelets. So you can actually use these and make earrings if you want um, to from it, if you're crafty like that. So now I have this piece and I, okay, there, I undid the knot. So there they are nice stretchy. So what you need to do is you take it and just like you start with your shoe, when you're tying your shoe, you go once, then tie it. Yeah, tie it one. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Three fell off. No, no, no. Stop rolling. Okay, so you put your beads back on. <laughs> and this one only took like, this would only take you like 10 minutes to make these. Um, and these ones are fun to sit in front of the TV and watch your movies or, um, when they're in these little packets in these little boxes like this, you could just make your whole packet in there and then take it out to your TV room. So you're still with your family and stuff, but you, you're still making. Okay. So there we go. I stretched it a little and I'm going to go one time, two times. That's what I didn't do last time. And then you pull it. Then you go on top here. Put your finger in there, <laughs> go one time, oops, one time through, no and no. <laughs> okay, I'm going to restart because I think I twisted it. Let's try it again. If I was doing this and I was just doing it for me, it wouldn't have been any, any big deal. So I got two loops. I'm going to put it around my finger. I'm going to pull it down, go through once. I'm going to pull it down, go through twice. Then I'm going to do that. And then I stretched it. Now, this is perfectly fine. You can keep it like this. I um, put a little dab of hypo cement, which you can get in the beading section. And it has a little micro tube on it. Or I tend to just always have super glue around. So I'll put a drop of super glue right there. I'll wait till the super glue or whatever's dry. And then I will cut my little strands fairly close because you don't want to see them. Uh, and then I try and pull my knot through my bead so you can't see where, where we did it. And there you go. You got a nice, you got a nice bracelet. So you ended up with two bracelets for the $12. And um, you can pick, like I said, I'm going to have, I'll have the star one with the red glass one two three four five 
five, six, seven, eight. So I'll probably put um, 16, oh no, I'll probably put 12 red glass with the stars. So you can use them on both or you don't have to use the red glass at all. And you'll have enough of those. And then I will have an amethyst kit. And these are what the amethyst balls look like. And then these are Dalmatian Jasper. And they're white and black. These are, I love these. Be careful when you wear these, people will want to buy them from you <laughs> because people love them. So I will have that one. I will have, and those are all the bigger beads. Those are all six millimeter. And then in the little ones, I have picture Jasper and rose quartz. And then I, and adventuring for the small, for the small ones. And then for the great big ones, I have um, a couple of sets that I'll do in rose quartz. And I think I have a couple, I may have um, picture Jasper in that, but I'll have that all listed for you. And those will be available for $12. And so you'll get the beads you need to make two bracelets one stretchy and one with a clasp. Oh, we didn't put a dangly on here. How could we have forgot? So this is where your big um, jump ring, this is where I like to use it anyway. So you force it open like that, come around here and we will put it, um, yeah, I'll show you. So we'll put it close and it hangs there. It's unobtrusive, you don't see it. We're going to do this. We're going to put our little ball on there. Like that. And I'm just sitting here and I can't. Okay. Around those pliers. I'm going to put them right at the bead. Fold it away from you. Your beads are horizontal. You're going to turn them so that they're um, at noon. You're going to wrap all the way around like that till it's down and go behind the bead. Then you're going to take yours out, turn it so it's at sunset or 45. You're going to finish the wrap around. You're going to take these out. Now, before you wrap it, feed it through your, oh, come on, come on, come on. Feed it through your jump ring. Ooh, that went through the bead and the jumper, the jump ring and the bead. Make sure your jump rings down below. See, so they're hooked like that. Then I put this on. So now you're holding it like this and you get your needle nose pliers or your flat nose pliers. And you're going to twist until you're happy with the twist. Now I like the twist so that my ball is all the way down at the end. And I like it, um, just a straight one, not messy or overlapping. I guess it's overlapping. It doesn't have to be messy. Um, I know some people will keep beading, keep twisting and it looks like a little bead cap. That's cool too. I, I do that sometimes, but most of the time I'm pretty simple about it. And I just like that, hold on to your wire so it doesn't spin across the room, check and make sure that there's no Sharpies. And then you have a dangly and I gave you four of these, so you can actually put another one on there if you want. And because it's the bigger um, jump ring that you're using, you have that. You don't have to put them all in the same place. So there you go. That, there, I completed it now. I'm sorry. So that's, like I said, that will be your kit. It is, and you will have your um, beading um, wire and, or tag some people call it tiger tail. This is beading wire. So I use, it's got stainless steel wire and then they're wrapped together. And then they put a sheath of um, plastic over it, I guess. And so it's able to hold weight um, of the beads or whatever you're using. So that's what I tend to use for my, when I'm doing beaded things that have clasp on it. So you get all that for the $12 if you're interested. If you have any questions, you can um, put them in the chat now or ask below afterwards. And wow, that we finished a little bit early. So I will show you a cheat. If you don't want dangles, you will have four, two, 
three, four. You will have four um, pens in your kit because you're going to be able to make two. So let's say you did the adventurine. Let me pull out the adventurines. I'm going to take one of my needle, my eye pens. This one's pretty straight, so that's cool. I like that. I'm going to take this. We're just going to make another dangly like, like if you would were to use it on there. So we're putting it. So this is the horizon. We're bending it over away from us. So sunrise. Take the pliers out, put them straight up and down at noon. We wind back towards us all the way down behind the bead. Take them out, put them back in so they're at sunset and wrap it that way. We're going to take it this way and then we're going to do our wrap. And we're going to wrap. No, Remy. I apologize. Remy, no. No. Our neighbors moved and we got new neighbors and they bought a puppy. And it's a little Doberman pincher thing. It's hysterical. It, it is all legs and it doesn't really know how to bark. <laughs> But my dogs like to bark at it. So here you go. We're going to take that off. There we go. That one's not as tight, so I don't like it as much. So we're going to do that. Push it in with your needle nose pliers. Be careful because you can break your beads. So there you have a dingle dangly. And you have one of these. So what I'm going to teach you is use your needle nose. Take it, um, I usually do it about that far back, about three quarters of the way. So there you have that. And then you have a loop like that. Take your dangle, put it on there. So now it looks like this. You want to close that loop so your dangle doesn't come off. There we go. Now, go up a little ways. You don't have to go up very far. And I do it all the way to the back of my needle nose pliers. So, I go ahead and there we go, like that, all the way back, push it down. And you're gonna have this shape. So you want to um, round it around, down, pinch it a little. I still don't like the way it's kind of looking. So, you know, you play with it till you get it, ah, there. I just hadn't bent it. So now we have that close to an earring, so earrings have a little flip at the bottom. So take your needle nose and the flip usually happens about where the um, dangle starts. So flip it up like that. Use your pinchers, make sure that um, this side, the flat side where the flat cut will be is towards the earring like that. So then you have that now. That's pretty good actually, mine did pretty good. And you have an earring. So you can actually make a pair of earrings. You'll have enough left. Now I would use a little um, emery board or um, a file from your nail kit. I'm gonna make that shorter too cause I don't like them that long on mine there. And file that a little bit just so um, it doesn't poke you or isn't sharp. And then you have an earring. So you can actually get two earrings out of it if you don't do dangles. And um, so that would be fun. I still don't like the way that looks. See? There. I want that against there. Okay, there. So there, you have a little earring. And that'll be fun for you to wear too. And then you have a set that you made. The other thing you could do if you don't want to do earrings and you only want one dangle is you could use your other um, big thing and put your dangles in that and then chain um, put a small one on it and then loop it on a chain and you can wear it like that so then you have a little necklace pendant for it 
So there you go, guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, I appreciate it. I'm going to try and be doing um, two makings a week. It may go down to one because I may run it. It may run out, but um, eventually I will probably start not just doing beading, but I'll, I'll probably start showing you some of my soldering stuff too. It's just not really set up to have the camera in there yet, um, but I'm working on it. So you will get that. So I'm enjoying doing these for you guys and um, I hope you're having fun with them and enjoying the kits and I will see you again next week and um, have a great weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.